What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today we've got another what's sold video for you guys and sales have slowed a little bit as we are getting closer to Christmas and I'm hoping most of these people aren't expecting to get this stuff by Christmas because we're just five days away. But we still had a solid weekend, so let's get into it, show you everything that's sold and at the end of the video, we'll show you the total amount of profit I made on all of this. Right, guys here's everything that sold let's actually let's start over here on this side let's mix it up a little bit these were six dollars from gabe's this uh, colorado state hoodie and i sold it for thirty dollars on ebay these three women's hoodies here got from my local embroidery shop for two bucks each and sold those for 20 to 22 bucks a pop so easy money there these feed zeke shirts um these were a buck or two at my local embroidery shop as well so two of them to the same buyer for 30 bucks and we got this rick and morty beanie here we paid 7.99 for this from marshall's if i remember correctly yes we did a lot of people wonder how i remember all these prices in my head and i've gotten that question a lot uh, you got to remember this stuff in this game because when you're going to revise your listings you need to make sure you're not going to lose money and you don't have time to go look at every single item to remember what you paid for it you just got to lock it in and remember what you paid for it sold rick and morty here for 22 dollars on mercari I actually sold a second one of these too. I don't know why I didn't get two out, but I sold two of those on Mercari. Then we got a Yale beanie over here. This was two bucks and a B-stock palette. Sold it for $20. These two do the do's, which were $2.99 at Gabe's. They weren't five bucks. I can't find that tag. Where is it? I'm not gonna, oh, I already peeled the, oh, there it is. $2.99, um, 20 bucks on each of those. Betty Boop, we got $19 for her on eBay. Again, $2.99. Um, this was two dollars and a half pal. I don't even remember who that is It's an MILB team and sold it for 20 bucks Then over here. We got a Dallas Cowboys scarf got this in a pallet as well for two bucks and sold it for twenty dollars We sold four mugs which are gonna be a pain in the butt to ship um, Two different buyers 20 bucks on those and we had like 30 cents a mug in those we sold two more Yankee dinos guys I had like probably two pallets of these things and I literally only have like 10 left. Um, and I'm now selling them at $18 on Amazon and $20 on eBay. Um, and then I sold this guy for 16 bucks on eBay. We still have a couple cases of him left, but I just can't believe how fast those have moved. Ever since I got Amazon, those things are flying. Then we got Kansas State backpack. Got this for $3 from BitFTA, sold it for $25. We got these Donovan Mitchells. Uh, of course, Marshalls had to cut the top off of these, but these were on sale for like 26 bucks during their last clearance event. They were red tagged, and I couldn't find many of this style on eBay or StockX for that matter, especially in this size. Seven and a half isn't a great size for men's, but at 26 bucks, I took a chance, sold them for $75. So this is a lesson that you're not always going to find comps. You gotta go with your gut on some things. And if there's not always a listing, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You can actually set the market. I mean, there were like three listed of this exact shoe out there, none in this size. So I figured, hey, we'll set the market on those. And it worked. Then we got a University of Arkansas, the Razorbacks, um, like headband with hair there. Got these from Fanatics for probably like 50 cents each on one of their clearance events. Sold them for 15 bucks a pop to the same buyer. Uh, then we got this box right here sealed box of coins it is the peace and morgan silver dollars i think don't quote me on that i don't know much about coins but we got some coin guys in the group and they called these out and they were going for about 900 upon delivery mine took a little bit longer to get delivered so prices went down a little bit i could have held them and got them graded or something different but I moved them for 700 bucks, made about 100, $115 after fees and shipping. I got a PlayStation in a Sam's Club bundle the other day. This came with it, listed it for 60 bucks on eBay because that was the trending price and it literally sold within like minutes. Then we got this White Sox ornament here. Um, got this for 50 cents from BitFTA, sold it for $10 on eBay. We got these packs of gloves. I paid $1 each for each of these packs, which was absolutely crazy. Got these from the Restore Habitat for Humanity. If you haven't seen my video going there sourcing, you should check it out, it's pretty cool. But I sold those for 60 bucks, $30 per pack. Someone bought two packs. Then we got all of these hats here. 
Um, so this hat was from Marshalls for $9.99, sold it for $30. This was from Fanatics recent clearance event. We called this out in bread and butter. Lots of people ate up all of these clearance hats. Um, $2 and sold it for $18. UNI hat, three bucks from Marshalls, sold it for $17. This is also from Fanax a while back, like three, four bucks, sold for 20 bucks. And we got this Mickey hat here, $7.99, sold this for $22, so nothing big, but you know Mickey's going to sell. Then we got this Reds hat here, 10 bucks, Marshalls, $25, um, NAU, this is two or three bucks, I probably already took the tag off. And yes, I get this question in lots of my videos. Do you take the Marshalls and Burlington tags off? Yes. Why would you leave it on and show them what you paid? Leave the original MSRP tags on. Take off the clearance tags where you bought it because they don't want to see that. You're just asking for negative feedback. Anyway, sold this for $18. Then we've got a U.S. Women's National Team hat, I think. Got this from Fanatics for 2 or 3 bucks. Sold it for $17.99. Got this MIT hat picked up in that one of my latest sourcing videos. $4.99, sold for $20. Bucks. These are flying right now. I might have to raise the price on these. Then we got Celtics hat, Mitchell and Ness. Got this from TJ Maxx for like $8 bucks online, oh, probably a year ago. Um, hats are just a longer term inventory. Most of them aren't going to flip super fast, but if you can get them at a good price, you know that they're going to sell eventually. Um, and sold this one for $27.99. And over here, these were all two bucks in a hat palette. Sold this for $17.99. Um, this one for $27. This one for $30. And this one for like $15. Bucks. Then we sold a reseller box on Facebook for $40 plus shipping. So that's nice there. Um, loaded that thing up. Um, then we sold all these wristbands, three for $10, have about 28 cents in each of those. We sold six Cowboys patches here for 10 bucks for three. And again, got those in a pallet. Then we've got these that I got from Meyer for $2. I think I already took the tag off, but I have a whole video on that. So you guys can believe me there. That was one of my first videos, actually. $2 backpacks. I held them till back to school and sold a ton of them then. I still have probably about 10 left, but if you watch that, I had like two shopping carts and I'm making bank on those. So sold this for $15 plus $7 shipping on Facebook. Then we sold all these jerseys and I paid around $16 to $20 for each of these um, when you piece it out in a pallet. And I sold all of these here over 50 bucks. Then we've got a Mickey Mouse collector set took a massive L on this. Um, I thought this was going to be huge. It was an Amazon exclusive. I think it was 130 or 140 when it came out. I just needed to move it. I've moved it for 140 on eBay. We're going to take an L. It was too late to return it. But you know, you're going to take L's in this game. Out of all of this stuff I have here, that's my only L. So I'll probably lose 20, 30 bucks on that after shipping and everything. And then we've got a Ralphie here. I didn't pay 54. I paid. 20% off of that, so what, like 40? And we sold him for 70 bucks on Amazon, just trying to move the last of my Christmas inventory until I load up on more after Christmas, more on that later. But we made some money on this. This is super easy to ship, it's very small. Then we sold four Magic Mixies. I only have, I think, four left. Um, buy box touched around $97, $98 last night, so I decided to move some more. People that are dipping the buy box down to like in the 80s are just dumb and I don't know why you would do that because you're going to make maybe five bucks at best. If it's going far away, you're going to lose money. So it doesn't make sense to me, but I know it's going to go back up. So whenever it does dip back up, I move the rest of these and I'll make between 10 and 20 bucks on each one of these depending on where they're going. And lastly, we sold probably about 50 flags, which is pretty crazy. Um, have about three, four bucks in each of these, sell them for 16 to $20. So that's everything that we have sold, guys. Now I'm going to package everything up and we will get back with the final numbers. All right, guys, here is everything that sold. Another big weekend, over 100 plus packages going out again. 
So let's break down the numbers like we always do. On eBay, we sold 44 items for $1,876. On Facebook Marketplace, we sold 41 items for $780. On Mercari, we sold 13 items for $406. And on Amazon, we sold 6 items for $471 for a total of 104 items for $3,533. Now let's take out our shipping of $598, our cost of goods sold of $1,231, and our fees of $421 for a net profit of $1,283. Now as always, let's multiply that by 52 to see what we would do net profit just on the weekends, $66,000 a year. So this is a little lower than I've been doing, but honestly, I'm very happy with it. I've been seeing a lot of resellers and stuff lately saying that sales are slumping, and they definitely are, but to be able to still do 100 plus packages going out and over $1,000, I'm just truly blessed and thankful. And again, I want to give all glory to God. I would not be where I am today without my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So he always deserves all of the glory in my life and with all of my successes because it's all for him. Thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. I can't believe how quickly we got there. I don't think we're going to get to 5,000 by the end of the year, but that's okay because it's coming up quick and I know we will get there eventually. So again, thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed. If you're in bread and butter right now, we're doing the seven days of giveaways. So make sure to enter all those giveaways in the giveaway channel. Day six and day seven are going to be absolutely crazy what we give away. So you're not going to want to miss that. If you're interested in joining bread and butter, which is my personal discord cook group, we have in-store flips, online flips, and just reselling mentorship in there. Lots of full-time resellers in there, part-time resellers, just a great community that we've built so far. So if you're interested in that, you can uh, join first link in the description. If you want to learn more about us or have any questions, shoot us a DM on Instagram at bread and butter group. You can also shoot me a message and follow me on Instagram at millennial underscore profit. I hope you guys are killing this quarter four and I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching the millennial profit. Thank <laughs> you.